Hello there, my name is Ray Albert, and I want to welcome you back to Milford, Connecticut Marketing, where today we're going to be talking about how to set, set up Google Search Console and Google Analytics on your website and, and you know, how to set them up, period. You know, how to, how to get your uh, Search Console verified and, you know, how to connect it to uh, analytics and how to connect them both to analytics and then, you know, you want to see all this on your website. Uh, also, I'm doing this because... Uh, you know, my free uh, business app that you could download. I'm going to leave the link below uh, by going to uh, login.milfordctmarketing.com and creating your own account. Now, these tools that we're going to use is going to be able to help you gain insight into your website's effectiveness, basically. You know, how it's uh, doing on the internet, how people are reacting to your website and the content that you are creating. Also, in Search Console, it's going to tell you if there's any errors or anything like that, uh, That go why Google can't, you know, uh, show you URL or why they can't index it, or, you know, maybe you might have some broken pages, or maybe you might have some redirects or something like that. So Search Console is very important, and analytics, of course, is, uh, you know, important. That's why you want to connect the two of them. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to first uh, connect uh, or how to get a search console set up, uh, how to connect it to your website. Then we're going to go and implement uh, Google Analytics. We're going to uh, create a property, a, go a Google property on analytics, and we're going to connect the analytics to the search console. Um, then we're going to connect everything to your website via a plugin called Rank Math. Um, and then I'm going to show you how you can then go to the business app that I have that's free for you guys, okay? And like I said, I'll leave a link below, and uh, then you can connect all of this stuff to your business app. So this is going to be a very good tutorial. I hope it doesn't last too long, so just stick with me, okay, till the end. You're going to learn a lot of stuff, and it's going to help you in the long run. My whole thing is about helping local businesses get found on Google, and you're not going to get found if Google doesn't know you exist, right? So let's get started with the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we want to set up a, uh, a, a Google Search Console uh, account, okay? Now, how do we do this? Very simply. You need, first of all, to have a Google email, like a Gmail account, right? You need that, right? Then you need to be connected to it. You need to be logged into your Gmail account. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on my website, and then we're going to go into the Google Search Console. I'm going to show you a website that I created for a test site that we're going to connect everything to, and so this is going to be your training on how to do it, okay? All right, so I'm very excited, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the back end of the website that we're going to be using, this uh, empedroofing.com. I just created this. Uh, this is what it looks like on the front end. Not very, it's not even built out yet or anything like that. Uh, I'm just doing this as a test website uh, just so that you can connect everything, okay? So to get to the Google Search Console, what do you need? So you need to be able to, uh, first of all, See, I'm connected to my uh, Gmail account, right? This is me, and this is my Gmail account. So if I want to go to Search Console, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, do a Google search, and I'm going to type in Search Console. So you're going to come up with Search Console login, Search Console. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, I'm just going to pick Search Console, right? So click on Google Search Console, and then you can click Start Now. So now this brings me to my account, right? Uh, I already have an account, but if you don't, it's going to ask you to... So what is going to happen is, uh, it's going to look like this when you first get to the Search Console. It's going to ask you to connect a property. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to the property that you want to connect, you want to get the URL from the property. So I'm highlighting this URL and I'm going to go back to the search console and I am going to insert the URL right there. So now we're going to connect. We're going here and Google's trying to verify and it's saying it can't verify the uh, website. So what we need to do is we need to get it verified. So what I highly suggest 
is you go here to HTML tag, right? Um, but first of all, you need to go back to the website and you need to go to your plugins and you need to install a plugin. I forgot to say, just so you know, I'm using a WordPress website. So if you have a Wix website or a GoDaddy website or something like that, um, you're going to have to, because they do it differently. They connect to Google Search Console differently, okay? So this is for people with uh, WordPress websites and 90% uh, of the people out there have a WordPress website. Anyway, so it's going to pertain to most of you. So let's get back. Okay, so like I said, we're going to have to uh, install a plugin. So here's all the plugins. So we're going to add a new plugin. Okay, then we are going to search for headers and footers. And the plugin you want is this one right here. So we're going to install this plugin. Then we're going to activate the plugin. Then what we need to do is we need to go to the plugin itself. So if you hit uh, hover over settings, you can see WP headers and footers. So if you click on that, there you go. So we're going to put our script in the header. So we're going to go back to the search console. And right here where we uh, wanted to do the HTML tag, all you do is just copy this tag, go back to your website, put it in the HTML or into the header script, just like that. And then you click on save, which is down at the bottom here, save changes. Now, once those changes are saved, you can click on verify. Okay, so make sure you do it in the right thing here and just say verify. So now the ownership has been verified and you can go to the property now. So there's nothing in this property right now that's uh, because you just connected to it. Okay, so another thing you might want to do is uh, go to the site maps and you want to install a site map. So if we go back to our website here, and we go back to the plugins. And now we want to install another plugin. And this one is going to be called Rank Math. So we're going to install that plugin. And we're going to activate that plugin. And it's going to say here, connect to your account. But we're going to skip that for now. Okay, we're going to skip all of that. And we are going to return to the dashboard. So now that we have Rank Math in there, we can go to our sitemap settings. And this is where our sitemap is going to be at. Okay, so what I could do now is I could uh, highlight... I don't want to do that. the post sitemap. Go back to the search console. And now we're in the sitemaps, right? And we can just paste in the sitemap XML. We can submit it. Okay. So now it's found the sitemap XML for the uh, posts. So now let's go back to the website and get the one for the pages. So we just highlight this page sitemap XML, copy it, go back to the search console and then enter that one in as well. Submit it. And it's found the pages. So now we have our sitemap in there. Okay, so that, those are the two things that you need to do. So now you are set up on the search console and your website's connected to this. Um, so now we want to create the analytics page, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up a new window and we're going to go to the analytics. So you just type in Google Analytics and it should just come right up right here. And we're going to go to Google, Google Analytics. Now, if you don't have an 
analytics already it's going to ask you to sign up and you just sign up right because you already got your google profile and everything so what we're going to do here now is um we're going to click on this admin button okay and we're going to create another account so i'm going to create an account I'm, and it's going to be for this website so it's going to be amped roofing company so i'm just going to put in there amped roofing Okay, I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to have to do this again anyway. Okay, so these are the services we're going to get. And we're going to click go. Um, so now we're going to do the property name. See, that's why I copied it. So I'm going to just paste the property name in there again. I'm going to make sure that my time is set right. So I'm in New York time here. And then we're going to click on next. And so how many employees? I'm just going to say small, 1 to 10. And what I want to do is measure lead generation. And I'm going to go create. Okay, so then all we have to do is click on this check mark. And you accept the terms. Okay, now we have created the property, right? So here we are, amp proofing. So now we want to choose a platform that we're going to get the analytics from. So we're going to click on web. We're going to put in... Um, the site name again then we're going to get the URL so let me go back here and get the URL all you need is this amped.com right here go back to the analytics because they already got the HTTPS right there and then you create the stream So now the stream's created, but it's not getting any data from your website. So it's, it wants you to install a code. So what I suggest is you go to install manually. And then you take this code right here. You right mouse click and you copy this code. You go back to your website again. And you go back to the uh, settings and then back to the WordPress the uh, header and script and then below this one you just paste in the Google Analytics tag okay and make sure you hit save changes okay now it's connected to your website Google search console is connected to your website then what you want to do is you want to connect now your uh, analytics with your Google search console right so if we go down here to uh, Search Console Links, now we're going to connect our Google Search Console to our analytics. And so what you want to do is you want to link it. And so this is the Google Search properties that I have, okay? Um, you're probably only going to have one, so when you click on that, you're only going to have one. But now i got to look for the Amped Roofing. Here it is right here. So if I just click that, then I go up here to confirm, and then I go next. And so this is what we're going to do is the web, web uh, streams we're going to connect it to. Click this, then click next, and submit it. And so now your accounts are linked. Okay, so the links are created. So that's how you connect your uh, Google Search Console with your analytics. Very simple. So it was very simple to create the Search Console property. It was easy to connect everything to the property. Then we went and connected the uh, analytics. We got the analytics property created. Then we connected Search Console to the analytics. And then we connected everything to the website. So now everything's connected. You're going to get all kinds of different results, you know, whether it's negative or positive, either way. But now the business app that I have that is free for you guys, I want to show you how you can see all of this on one page, okay, including your social profiles. So let's go to that. So here I'm in the dashboard for my uh, adult coloring book. It's just an account that I created for um, this purpose uh, just to 
be able to show you guys how to do this. Uh, but as you can see, um, you can get to it by going to login.milfordmarketing.com. If you don't have an account, you can create an account. I have another video. If you go to my uh, Milford Marketing for Small Businesses group and uh, Facebook, um, you can see the previous videos that I created for this or go to my YouTube channel, whichever you, you, you prefer. But we want to click on this Get Started. So now I advise highly to watch this short video about this platform, about this app here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we want to connect stuff, right? So we go to connects. And so here is where you can connect your Facebook account. Here is where you can connect your Google Search Console, your Google Business Profile, and your analytics. Okay, so for instance, if I wanted to connect my Google Search Console, I just click on that. And then it's going to ask you to go to which, which Google property. So I'm going to cl click on that. And then we're going to go down here, and this is the amp roofing. So you select that. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's connected. Easy as that, right? So if, again, if you want to connect your Google Business Profile, you click on that. I showed you how to get a profile the other day. You click on the property that you want. You say allow. And so now it's going to come up with all your accounts, and you're going to click the one you want to connect. So I don't have a Google uh, Business Profile made for this account yet uh, but as you can see all you can do is that you know you could uh, click on it to verify it or to uh, connect it and it's going to connect it um, then you know you could go to your facebook account um, it, it's that's how easy it is to connect everything so once you have everything connected um, your dashboard is going to sh start showing analytics after a couple of days. It's going to show, you know, how many views you've gotten in Google search, uh, the search uh, profile and your business profile, how many visits you've got. It's going to show you analytics on your website. It's going to show you everything. So that's what's good about this dashboard. And again, you can go to the store if you need services from me. Uh, but before you do that, what you want to do is uh, click on your billing and add a payment method. Then you can go to the store and you can buy, you know, products from me. Now, if you want, if you need a discount because or you want to ask me about any of these products, please reach out to me or, or put a comment below in the uh, comments down there. So I hope this video was very informative to you that you now can able your so now that you are able to connect everything uh, to your search console, to your analytics, to your website, to the uh, business app that I have that's totally free, and all you got to do is click the link down below uh, to go to login.milfordctmarketing.com and create your account or log into your account, whichever you want to do. Okay, so this is Ray Albert with Milford Connecticut Marketing. If you haven't subscribed yet, this helps me out a lot. If you go down there, just ting the icon bell. Um, and uh, so you're notified every time I come out with another video like this um, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Have a nice day. Um, enjoy this bright, beautiful, sunny day. Bye-bye.